So, going to talk about uh, Sean Carroll, an actual physicist, debunking uh, Eric Weinstein's supposed theory of everything. A lot of people have seen this before. I've talked about it a little bit, but it's interesting nonetheless. And all that, uh, and this is a shorter clip in which Sean, all that Sean Carroll does is read Eric's paper, and Eric tries to interrupt him, but he doesn't let him. And that's like basically just says like this is worthless because you said it yourself in your own paper. So he debunks him with his own words, right? And of course, Eric Weinstein, pseudo intellectual crackpot, formerly associated with the so called inter intellectual dark web, like former recognized economic advisor to Peter Thiel, the billionaire who's running Palantir, the secure the surveillance organization that is being designed to spy on all american citizens and he has this weird apocalyptic christian view and anyway eric weinstein thinks that he's smarter than all of physicists and st string theory is uh completely bullshit which sean carroll admits there are problems but it's nowhere near the level of issues that eric weinstein says and he has this whole theory of everything which claims to debunk all of physics and basically on actual physicists who look into this, like Sean Carroll and uh, Timothy Nguyen is one who actually did like a detailed analysis of the paper. And you can look that up. He's done detailed analyses of how basically full of shit it is and how there's nothing here. And uh, also like Sabine Hassenfelder, who's another like science grifter, who's in uh, like, she's an actual physicist too, but she's been doing more like, clickbaity anti-science videos like literally academia is communism and she years ago ex harshly criticized eric weinstein's paper but more recently she's basically said it's not a big deal it's not much there but it's basically the same bullshit as all other physics but billions of dollars haven't been wasted on it and if it had been maybe his theory would have been would have been confirmed but obviously that's bullshit but anyway, we'll get into the clip here. The good news is I have read Eric's paper. Here it is. I actually have it here, right here. And uh, it's worse than you would think. You know, it just very quickly, it that starts really? off by saying the author is not a physicist and is no longer an active academician, but is an entertainer and host of a podcast. This work of entertainment. Hashtag not a physicist. Entertainment is a draft work in progress, and it may not be built upon. So we're not allowed. And yeah, a theory of everything is supposed to be able to be built upon because you're supposed to, as he's about to say, you're supposed to add it to the existing theory of physics and supposed to be compatible with it. And then people are supposed to be able to build on that to explain, expand the theory and learn more about the nature of the universe, learning your theory. But if you're saying it can't be expanded upon or added to, then how do you, it's like whether it's true or not is infalsifiable and an infalsifiable claim it should be assumed to be false allowed to think about eric's theory and write a follow-up paper about it in, oh in no you're very much allowed sean to everything but how come you said not to in your paper that is normally done in scientific i must interrupt you because you're reading my paper discourse you hope that people build upon your theories you don't try to prevent them then later on it says sean, this document is an attempt to begin recovering no they didn't I'm, I'm going to read They're this. They're not build upon his theories. He, he said things like, in 1980, whatever, I introduced these equations, and I was told by my professor that they're bullshit, but then years later, in a class, introductory class, I saw these equations show up, and no one gave me credit for it, and I should get a Nobel Prize. Just like uh, his his bro, uh, Brett Weinstein, who's an anti, a wacko anti-vaxxer, thinks he should have gotten a Nobel Prize for biology, basically this thing to do with the shortening of the mitochondria in terms of aging um, on studies in mice and whether that can pr prevent cancer or not and looking at it in a different way. And if you look at his theory in detail, there's actually nothing to it too. He sent it to actual physicists. He's talked about this, not physicists, actual professional biologists, and they've analyzed it and said, yeah, basically there's nothing here. Kind of like the, you know, Terrence Howard grifter saying, oh, I have a brilliant theory of everything. And then, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson politely debunks it, but then, uh, uh, but then he, pre but then Terrence Howard pretends that Neil deGrasse Tyson didn't take it seriously. And I mean, on a side note, even Eric Weinstein politely debunked Terrence Howard's theory. But anyway, yeah, 
uh, he's being shown to be a fool here, let's say. This document is an attempt to begin recovering a rather more complete theory, which at this point is only partially remembered and stitched together from old computer files, notebooks, recordings, and the like, dating <laughs> back to as far as 19... 19- the good news is I have read Eric's paper. Yeah, here it so, is. I actually yeah, have it here. Starting again now. So basically, he's what he's getting at there. It's that it it's based on stitched together notes going back to the eighties. So like he compiled his theory recently. Gave a lecture. Uh, I think I forget what year it was, but years ago now he gave like a Harvard lecture and people who actually know anything about physics has ever analyzed it and said it's full of shit. And if you look at his paper, it's even less convincing. He has all of these random theories proposing these different ways of looking at equations, but he doesn't like plot out the math. There aren't any calculations. It doesn't have these things that the, that a theory of everything should have in order, in order for it to be compatible with other theories. Cause even if you're debunking string theory, you should have a way that a way that, shows mathematically in your theory that you should be able to have an explanation for other way uh, like an alternative explanation for what string theory does because we know that some string theory calculations are use are usable in practic and practical in the real world but anyway so he doesn't do that he doesn't have he doesn't have all of these things i forget what some of the mathematical equations are called but basically uh what sean carroll's about to get that there's he said this is a kind of uh, dog ate my homework kind of situation and then eric weinstein fires back with how dare you you know you're lying about my paper and before that before it he said you haven't even read it and then sean carroll di- does this and then he says i don't believe you actually have read it because you know it does these things that you say it doesn't do in your life like what a fucking like insecure passive aggressive douchebag with a massive delusional sense of grandeur man it's fucking insane oh yeah so uh, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, share, click the bell to be notified when I come out with new videos. And of course, more important than anything, subscribe. And then also definitely, if you happen to be ordering anything on Amazon anyway, order anything thing through the link for a random book that I throw in the description and I get a little kickback and no extra cost to you. And give me a tip on Patreon for individual posts if you want to. And you could also give me any amount of money money per month there all right yeah as usual eric weinstein is an expert at making specious arguments and trying to be this like brilliant enigma but he really has no fucking clue of what he's talking about